Nine, why do you hate sealers so much? Why are you asking that now? You said you hate blades too. But listening to you, it seems like you hate sealers even more. What is it about us you hate so much? I'm just jealous of how smart and independent and incredible you guys are. Nine, I'm being serious here. Fine. Then how you took a stupid risk by using Freya Valmas to save me. How you decided to put your life on the line for me, without my permission. I hate that the only thing you people live for is to sacrifice yourselves. So you don't believe in self-sacrifice? Hell no! Have you ever had to watch someone sacrifice themselves for you and leave you behind? W well Al used to have a sealer partner named Millie. She was lovely, pure and thoughtful. <laughs> the complete opposite of you, basically. Was that really necessary? Blades and sealers are destined to wind up on the battlefield. So anyway, they headed to Sel Orlef, which was in the middle of a border dispute. By the King's order? That's right. 
I mean, Al requested that he be allowed to go. But the old man didn't try to stop him or send any kind of support. Alfred was better off as a necromancer. He is from the familial family, after all. He was just too weak to enter the battlefield as a blade. So against my advice, he left. And he ended up losing the love of his life. I see. So that's why you... It just leads to pointless drama. Four years ago. Millie, you don't look well. Sir, Alfred. Millie, we have to go to the outside world. You need treatment. I guess Freya Valmus was more than I could handle. We'll both be gone before the next season arrives. Please, leave this place. Go into the world alone. At least then, one of us will live. Don't be stupid! How could I just leave you here? Millie! Millie! You said you wanted to visit Esther and Raxar together, right? To see the land where we met! We promised we would go! You're right. I'm sorry. I guess I can't keep my promise. No! I won't let you die! I refuse to allow you to leave me! I'm sorry, Sir Alfred. Please, live happily. Millie! Answer me! Millie! Millie! What's this? A barrier? I don't think the old man made it. Looks like I guessed right. Why do I always guess the bad things right? Welcome to my home. You've got strange taste. Listen, I know what you're trying to do. If you stop now, I'll leave you alone. You say it like it's so easy. It's just because you have nothing to lose. You'll never understand. You'd give up everything for her, huh? How many sealers did you kill for her? You think that's what Millie wanted? Nice cliché. Of course she wouldn't want this, but I don't care what she thinks. I just want her back. She allowed herself to die without my consent. So I don't need her consent to bring her back! What a spoiled little brat. Can you not talk for a while? This is between him and me. 
God, little pansy boy Al. You just keep throwing these hissy fits. But it's your own fault Millie died. She's gone because you were careless. Regret your mistakes all you want, but I won't let you throw tantrums like this. You're just trying to hide your weaknesses. I've always admired your honesty. But for some reason, you're really pissing me off. I can't stand looking at that stupid smug face of yours. One year ago. Fredo Laws? Yes. Another forbidden spell that can revive a soul already banished by Form of All's power. Sounds nice, but does it really work? Of course, but it won't be easy. You must risk much to gain it. Not to mention Ozolite's barriers will be a significant nuisance. The other problem is, do you still have the body of the deceased? I see. Then we will have to prepare a new one. A new one? How? We will create it. A form with a similar appearance, height, weight, hair, and eye color. Our chances of success are greater the closer we get to the original. Fortunately, we have plenty of materials, so it's better to take your time. Materials? I'm speaking of young female sealers. So you're saying I have to kill them and collect parts similar to Millie? Is this not acceptable? Never mind. I understand. Prepare a list of sealers immediately. Yes, sir. And upon success? I promise I'll restore the old Formilio family. That's what you want, right? Oh, and one more thing. To break the barriers, you need Matilia's power. What do you mean? Is Formival's power not enough? These things must follow certain traditions. The most important thing is... Only Matilia's power can break the barrier. Someone who possesses a strength equal to that of Matilia must do it. Rivaling Mectilia. A blade and a sealer. They must both be the greatest. I know of a certain blade. 
and I have in mind the perfect sealer. As I understand, the elder of Esther has a lovely, powerful young sealer. That's enough. You don't need to suffer anymore. I'll just send you to Millie right now. You need to be honest with yourself. I know that's not your strong suit. But this battle belongs to me. And it's all because of your efforts. What? <laughs> Thank you. Millie can now return to me. Nine, the barrier, it's falling. So this was a trap too? My darling Millie, today is your awakening! Millie? But why? It's because you weren't careful enough. Things are never that easy, especially not in this godforsaken world. Because I was able to see you. Ow! You stupid fool! Wake up! Al, you freaking weak bastard! Brother, I'm sorry. I knew this would happen. I just wanted my Millie back, even if only for a moment. I know Millie didn't want this. I know that. But you gain nothing from the sacrifice of others. I should have 
learned that from the king. But I couldn't contain my feelings. <laughs> I guess that runs in our blood. Al! Hey! Don't you dare die on me! Wake up! Brother, if I'd been like you, Millie might have survived. I guess I've always been jealous. Goodbye. This is so pathetic. Al, it's time to get up. You're really gonna let that cheesy line be the last thing you say? Hey! Come on! Say something! You can't just run away like this! Nine. He's gone. Damn it! A weakling to the end. No, I'm sure she would disagree. I'm so sorry, Millie. It's okay. Now I can finally go where I belong. And you can come with me. Sir Alfred was not qualified. Now we have no choice. What? Who are you? We are the true believers. We support the bloodline from the shadows. We supported Sir Alfred and advised him on how to grant his one wish. We deeply regret this outcome. Advise him? Don't you mean lied to him? We did the right thing. This was simply an unexpected result. We were searching for a way to lead our kingdom in a new direction. But it appears he could not handle the power of the god Formival. Huh? What are you talking about? He who loved this kingdom and its people from the bottom of his heart. You mean... All the barriers were created using shards of his soul. And the barrier's creator was... King Arzalide. Now I understand. That girl you've got hidden away is quite sharp. She's caught on, at least. Hey, what are you talking about? What's this about my old man? Since the barriers have been destroyed, all those sealed souls... You mean they're gonna come alive again? But that's impossible! Normally, yes, but he was a very unique necromancer. If he planned for this possibility, then it must be at least theoretically possible. But why? That's way too big of a risk. Perhaps you should ask him yourself. I'm sure he's been waiting patiently. 
You knew this from the start. And yet you still used Al. No, no. You misunderstand. All we do is in the name of our country. Shut it, you damn fanatics. Just get out of my sight. As you wish. You are the successor, after all. Someday you shall be our king. And we will serve you faithfully.
Sir Nine! What perfect timing! The King! He... I know, but you must be used to seeing the dead come back to life by now. It really shouldn't surprise you. Just wait. It will all come to an end. Everything. And so, he who returns to this place, is you, Nine. Sorry about that. Were you hoping for Al? What was your plan if we didn't go around destroying the barriers? I mean, you risked your life for this. I never imagined you would be the one sermonizing to me. I'm not sermonizing. I'm just letting you know how stupid you are. Well, let me explain something. With the barriers broken, Formaball's power is beginning to gather. And so the power that I wield has far surpassed that of the last kings. So that power is what you wanted? You want to use it to protect the kingdom? Meaning the guy who killed the last great king is going to turn out just like him. You really are lame. How many people had to die for your stupid plan? Formaval's power is immeasurable. There's no reason not to use it. Now, who will win? Me, with Formaval on my side? Or you, with Mictilia's blessing? I'm sure the gods already know the answer. I wouldn't be so confident. The gods don't actually care about us. But whatever. I don't care either way. Now it's time to finish this.
Yes. This is how it must be. What? King Arzalide, you were going to sacrifice your body. <laughs> now the power of Formabal is weakened, and the kingdom will return to normal. The living will die naturally, and the dead will stay dead, such as it should be. So that was your intent the entire time? Everything you did. You must be into that whole self-sacrifice thing too, huh? Crazy old man. The sacrifice is not important. It could have been me, you, Alfred, anyone. All that matters is that the sacrifice actually happens. To restore balance. Wouldn't you agree such a small payment is fully worth it? Nope. If Al were standing here, would you say that to him? No. I suppose not. The world would be much different with him here. The Formilio family would have been reborn, and darkness would descend again. You make it sound like you don't care who actually dies. That's right. As long as it meant bringing an end to this chaotic age. So basically you had no real plan. That's not true at all. You might not understand, but a kind of order would have been gained either way. There's a reason they call me the Keeper of Lorven, after all. Yeah, you're a real genius. Yes, I am. Okay, well, see ya. Indeed, I leave the rest to you. As a blade and a king, it is your duty to destroy Formaval's power. That is your mission, so long as you live. I'm really not interested. I can't believe you're forcing me to do this. <laughs> you never change. Lady Aisha, please look after my son. As you wish, my lord. You can count on me. So you knew? Yes. Although, I'm not sure how things will be now that I've found your demon. <laughs> well then, farewell.
Hmm? What is it, Sevi? Hmm. I thought I smelled Daddy Wannabe. You mean... Nine? But everyone said he's gone, right? I wonder what he's doing. Well, I'm sure he's doing whatever it is Blades do. I can't believe I used the forbidden spell on a guy I just met. Did I just use it because I'm interested in him? He's a blade, but he hates blades and sealers. He didn't choose his life, so he doesn't feel like he has to care about it. But I... I never really thought about things like that. I can't believe how confused I am about my own existence. You're... You forgot already? I'm Aisha Romandine. So, did I die? You sure did. Then, are you here to damn me? Or to forgive me? That's right. I also wanted someone to damn me, but also forgive me. I couldn't see any meaning in my life. I just lived, denying my guilt. But this man... And what do you get out of all of this? What do I want? I want... 